Bernie Krause used to make music with the likes of Stevie Wonder and the birds. But then he started recording sounds in nature, and what he found was astonishing. Even if you can't see the effect that humans have had on some habitats, you can hear them. He played some examples to the audience here at the TED Global Conference in Edinburgh. TED stands for Technology, Entertainment and Design, and its lectures are about sharing ideas free online. I caught up with Bernie Krause after he'd spoken and received a standing ovation to hear some of his recordings. And um, a lot of this material is used for research because I do very carefully calibrated material so that it can be used as a baseline to test against further recordings in the future so that we can see how habitats are changing over time by global warming, habitat destruction, resource extraction, all kinds of issues related to the ways habitats change. So can you give us an example, an example of a habitat you've noticed changing? Sure. One of the things that I talked about at TED was Lincoln Meadow. And Lincoln Meadow, up until 1988, was completely untouched and a beautiful old-growth habitat up in the Sierra Nevada mountains, about three and a half hours east of San Francisco, by car. And um, what I did was record a baseline, so I had some understanding of where things were at originally. And then a logging company came in to do some selective logging, meaning taking out a tree here and there rather than clear-cutting a whole area. And with permission granted to record in 1988, I recorded a whole bunch of sounds before they did that operation, dawn choruses mostly, and then after the operation. And uh, this is a sound of what it sounded like before the operation. And this is what Lincoln Meadows sounded after, a year later. And you can see that the difference is very profound. And the only bird sound you really hear in there is a, is a woodpecker at the end, that kind of tap, 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 tap sound at the end. All of the bird sound is gone now. And uh, as a result, uh, this habitat, I've been back there 15 times in the last 25 years, and the habitat has not come back to its previous um, uh, density and diversity of creatures. You're always going to do that. I mean, there's a sort of, you know, to keep woods going, there is a certain amount of clearage. You, you're talking something different there, though, aren't you? I'm talking about the human engineering of a space. And when humans come in to do that, they, we really don't understand the effect that we have on these environments. And uh, impact that we think is subtle has a profound impact at the other end.